I first visited Arlington National Cemetery when I was about 10 years old. Ever since then, it has been a personal goal of mine to become a tomb guard. In order to achieve my goal, I had to pass four rigorous tests. Now I find myself here on the day of my final test, badge test. Uh, what you see me doing here is preparing him before he's graded by Staff Sergeant Badeau, the Assistant Sergeant of the Guard. Uh, a few last minute details. There's 52 separate items that will be checked on his uniform on a go and no-go basis. Now on to his brass and awards. Make sure he made his own keepers and they're shined. Uh, each test includes uh, uniform, outside performance, and knowledge. I'll write out your knowledge. Uh, it'll usually take between, for full rotation, probably about four or five hours. How dedicated they are and how much work they put into their training as to when they get tested. Now the final piece is a dress drill that he has to complete in three minutes. Three minutes, go. A dress drill. We practice those in training because should something happen to the sentinel on the plaza, we have exactly five minutes to have another guard walking onto the plaza to take his place. So we practice being able to change from any uniform that we're in into full ceremonial blues in three minutes and back again. It's simply training in case there's an emergency out on the plaza. I am excited that he passed. He definitely works hard. We can see that he's a great soldier. I'm Specialist Curtis Sandifer, Guard, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Identification Badge, number 596.